you ready to protest, Dida? Sure. Always. I'm here to buy some red carnations, um, like funeral carnations, since we're all gonna meet because Ahmed died yesterday. So I'm trying to figure out which ones would be the right ones. Right near our building, we have already police here, and on the other side, and we have one of the infamous Thomas. Uh, Turkish Turkey is actually exporting them now because they have proven to be uh, so good against crowds. Now I'm gonna put something on the bus station because I kind of like to like put it everywhere as the slogan is Taksim is everywhere, everywhere is resistance. I also like to put my stuff on my way to Taksim. So we're basically on the way and we're already putting some protests there. This means kind of like rest in peace, thank you for your dreams. Today we go and kind of commemorate him and also like kind of put the issue off that there's a lot of police violence but nobody ever gets punished. Um, we wanted to go through the park but they sealed the park off again which kind of makes Taksim the most sealed off public part in the world. I'm quite sure we hold that record. So it's a public park, but maybe it's more like a police park. You see a guy in yellow and you see easily that he's police, uh, but also with the man next to him standing kind of alone, um, the way he stands, <laughs> we can like easily say and see that he's police. And um, when, we, when we now walk by the park, we will see many of uh, people standing like this. We also see a couple people behind, still in the park. Most likely all of them are civil policemen. It's kind of at the like, place of the original protest where it started, um, right there in the park. And it started with one guy say, being afraid that in the morning they're gonna take off the trees and he just put up a tent and then other people joined and put up the tent too. But what really sparked the protest was that they came in the morning, five o'clock, and they just gassed those people who were sleeping in the tents. Uh, the police killed a protester yesterday. They shot him from five meters with a gas canister. In Antakya. It's not here in another city, but we still feel, you know, with our hearts, we are with them. It's not even 7 o'clock yet and we are already hear the sound of probably tear gas and look at how many policemen there are and they're prepared to like now go down Istiklal and clear off Istiklal which is the main road here where like in the past weeks and months when the protests were like a little bit up things were still happening so in front of us we see all those police kind of getting to prepare to hurt us. Like they're told we're terrorists, so um, that's how they act, many of them. Of course, there's good and bad ones, but they're kind of getting ready now to gas, to shoot. Um, you can see them now putting on the gas masks. They all already wear helmets. Um, you can see on the side guys with like this gas um, pistols. We see now the typical um, scenery of Istiklal, of the streets, um, the whole summer. We have a water cannon, which they normally also fill with chemicals. So it really burns on your skin. It's like a hard sunburn. That's the feeling you have if it comes on your skin. And then we have like this rows of policemen and they clear off the street.
Ahmed Atakan's crime? And the answer is, he loved trees and he's a 22-year-old who got killed yesterday. Um, he got hit by a police canister, for, from gas canister from five meters. So he was, the policeman was going for his hat and he succeeded, he died. We are basically in the center of Istanbul now and it's the main tourist area where tourists come to shop and like families come and earlier we already have seen coughing children, tourists going down, I always tell like the tourists not to go down but they're going down the street to, to the hotels and um, they don't know better so they just, they just go and nobody helps them and you see the coughing children and you see like tourists getting lost so it's kind of amazing. No, no, no. I have to ask something. My mother is in there. My mother is sick. No, no, my mother, my mother is sick. She is there. My mother is there. He's up. He's up. He's up. I have a journalist friend who, who I just met, he got hit with a plastic bullet, luckily it was only his phone, but the whole phone was smashed, so thereby you can see how hard they actually hit. So now they're cheering, this is only the beginning, the protest will go on. And um, we are kind of split on both sides and you have like a mixed scenery of like tourists, police and um, yeah you have also a lot of ambulances which shows that they're very brutal again like always. <laughs> 